Good afternoon. Welcome back, guys. We are here with episode three, chapter three of Worst in Death. Unexpected Revelations. Saturday, March 23rd, 9.15 p.m. Let's get to it. Man, this is just, this is giving me all types of creepy vibes right now. Like, really, really creepy vibes right now. But, uh, let's get to it. Oh, no. This place is even worse than I imagined. How can you tell? Flynn told me how badly this park was, this park was damaged by last year's floods. It's probably completely abandoned by now. But it's the quickest way to the cemetery. I have to keep going. A huge do not enter sign has been taped over the community board. Man, whatever. Everything triggered from that reunion. <coughs> the trailer door is locked tight. There's, there's a little red heart sticker beside the lock. You need a heart key? Was this Resident Evil 2? There's a big evacuation notice here from the municipality. Municipality. Yeah! Municipality. According to the date, it was put up last spring when the town once again suffered a series of floods. Flynn told me about it. The water wiped out half the homes here. Rotted trees that were eventually collapsed only made it worse. Oh no. It's just as I feared. There's something wrong with the road ahead. Damn. Damn, can those splashes be even more freaking heavy? It looks like I can get through the other part of the trailer from park from here. Let's go back out real quick. I want to see what's out there. What's on the other side? <clears throat> Excuse me. These trailers are completely abandoned. I can smell the dampness of rotting wood. Oh, yuck. The water has completely washed the road away. I won't be able to get through the cemetery like this. An old industrial pump here looks decrepit. And the starter key is missing, but it might still work. Yeah, just as I figured. All the little sounds I'm hearing, it's just, it just gives you a sense of dread. The furniture has been completely all destroyed. Complete, eh. The furniture has been destroyed and all the cupboards have been emptied. The owner probably just took what they needed when they evacuated. Why bother cleaning it up? Pretty much. Oh, shit. <coughs> Here we go. It's getting cold again. I can hear something up ahead. Damn, I wanted to read that sign. Wait. You guys hear that? Here we go. I don't think reading that sign is going to be an option. It's another evacuation notice. It's so awful to think about how many people lost their homes. I had to read that quick because I didn't know if he was going to like keep moving while I was reading it. Alright, so when he comes back, I'm just going to make a beeline for it. Quietly, anyway. I didn't know that I'm here? Somewhere? Where is he? Where is he? I hear you. But how come you don't make your way back this way, buddy? Where are you at? You want me to just go ahead? Come on. I hear you moving. There you go. What the fuck? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Did he, like, 
like climb or something? Don't do it. Did you say don't do it? Too. I'm waiting for them to pass back around. This thing is not kidding around right now. He really wants me in the worst way. Now's my chance. Boy, that one sounds real close. That one sounds really close. I figured it'd be close. Get the hell out of here. Oh no, exactly why I didn't want to come here to visit this trailer park. Well, not really visit. This was Grace's house. Oh man, it's so damp in here. I feel chilled to the bones. I can see the nearby ravine. Even now, it's flooded over again. Oh. There's something in here? I remember sitting in, but wow, that chiming just really gave me a near, a almost near jump scare. I remember sitting in front of the fireplace when we were younger after swimming. I remember uh, I didn't want to go in this damn trailer. There's a door there. Oh, it's a photo of Grace's old dog, Ranger. He died just after the accident. He was already old by then, but after things happened, Flynn said it was just like he just faded away. Ooh, I don't like that feeling. Um, I'm gonna go in here. The door won't budge. I can see, but I don't see a keyhole. There must be another way to open it. Shit. Every time I play a horror game and you just you open a door, a new door, it's like, oh crap, what's gonna be on the other side? Looks like the main bedroom, but it's all torn to hell. Flooding has collapsed part of the floor here. Uh. Oh. Whoa, this closet was full of newspaper clippings. And some of Grace's things. Maybe there's something useful here. Well, let's check here. There's a shoebox of old photos. Grace's dad must have kept these. There's a photo of Grace when she was young. The back says May 20th, 1979, 3.02 p.m. That's a very specific time to note. It's a smashed up photo frame. It's difficult to make out what's behind a broken glass, but I think it's an old photo of Flynn and Grace. There's a newspaper, newspaper clipping here from the week when Grace died. The article goes over the details about we all know goes over the details we all know already. It also says a time of death which was 1:55 a.m. You know, I don't think Flynn ever told me that. Anything else? It's a swim schedule from a few years ago. I remember Grace would swim at the health center during the winter. Morning time slot is circle 7.15 a.m. That seemed to be important to somebody. I guess that was her swim schedule. Uh, Boom! Shoot. Saw that happening. What the hell was that? A mirror just shattered all by itself. Oh, that's my cue to get the hell up out of his room. What the 
that's my cue to get I'm out of this room. Oh, great. Can you make it any more obvious? Great. Wow, there are all kinds of printouts taped to the wall. What is that? These are notes by Grace's dad. Lists of people in town, dates and times, even markings on the map of the area. They mention Virgil Collier and Kim Peterson from the Hydro Dam. One says something about candid photographs. There's a note here about the lumber mill and a photo of, of a balding middle-aged man I don't recognize. Grace's dad's old computer. This thing was a relic, even before the flooding. But then again, her family was never rich. Her dad always had a hard time finding work because of his health problems. Oh man, that's even horrible. I thought he'd be happy when he finally got the job at the lumber mill. But he always seemed on edge. Wait a minute. There's no alarm clock besides the computer I didn't notice before. Huh? Obviously the power went out at some point, but because the time hasn't been set. The clock looks to be in rough shape, but I think it still works. Uh... Did that do anything? Wait. Wait a minute, guys. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Seem to do something. Uh oh. Heard a sound out in the hall. Maybe I should go see what it was. Maybe you shouldn't. I don't like this. Home repairs, computer reprogramming, vehicle maintenance. I remember he always checked out a lot of books from the library too. The window has been left open, who knows how long. It's pretty chilly in here. I know one thing. It's time for me to get the hell up off this room. Well, I'll be damned. It seems like it's a lock now. Because that, that alarm triggered. Oh, of course. This was Grace's room. It feels really weird to be in here. This old wardrobe was always so beautiful. It doesn't look like her dad moved much around after she died. I remember this old shirt of hers. 
This photo was taken just at the Flynn and Grace got Grace got engaged. I remember because Grace was wearing that dress with the sunflowers on it. She always made sure she looked good when she went out. She was so beautiful. Oh shit. There's an open envelope here on top of the shelf. Oh, it's, it's a letter from Flynn. Grace, I spoke to your father today. I went to the lumber mill on his lunch hour. He seemed upset. He wouldn't say why. He kept looking around like he was expecting someone to pop out at any moment. At first I thought it meant our conversation was going to go badly, but I was mistaken. Once I told him why I was here, he was all smiles. He gave me his blessing. We can get married. Your dad shook my hand and told me how happy he was. Okay, it's the same thing. Thought it was something else. Grace's bed. Flynn used to tell me Grace always had a hard time sleeping. He said, they've talked on the phone a lot. That static is really getting me excited. I just, I expect a jump scare. He said they talked on the phone a lot if she couldn't sleep. Grace's bedside table is stuffed with paper and pens. They're all slimy and gross from water damage. Yeah. There are letters here. One of them looks like it was never sent. Let's see what it says. I know. I kept you waiting for an answer. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. I made my choice. I'm going to marry Flynn. Please try to understand. I'll miss you and I'll always miss your beautiful photographs. Here's your key back, Grace. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> Excuse me. Grace was seeing somebody else. I had no idea. Did Flynn know? There's a worn key with a little heart chain next to it. Yep, I had a feeling. I found a heart key. It's time to get the hell out of here, guys. Poor Flynn. I, I don't know what to do. Let it go. Oh, shit. I think one of those things is inside the house. Holly can crawl under or behind certain objects to hide. Look for dark place for low key for safety. He knows I'm there. Some like barely unseen force. Get the hell out of here. <coughs> well, since he's in there. Smells like absolutely rank. The kitchenette is riddled with dirty old dishes and beer cans. Everything is awash in moldy water. Mm, you might want to get a tetanus shot or some kind of gloves or something after all this is said and done. Even the seating area is covered in stale smelling beer cans and old pizza boxes. I don't think the owner liked to cook much. 
what the fuck? What the hell? Um, I don't want to go down there yet. There's a half-finished letter on the bed. It's dried off enough to be legible. I'll be heading out there in the spring to work with you. You were right about everything. No more sneaking around. She made her choice. And now look where it got her. She's gone now. Things are weird around here anyway. I keep hearing sounds like I'm losing it. Did you get my latest my latest photos? Like I said, there's more going on this town than people want to believe, Virgil. Uh, apparently, I gotta go find out what the hell's going on down here. Oh, God, what happened here? Uh, what the fuck? What just happened? That'd be the last thing I'm asking. I want out. I wouldn't want to. I don't. I don't want to be here. If I was her, I would not want to be there. The shower looks like the inside of a blender. The odor is making my eyes water. Beside the shower stall is a blue shirt with a sunflower pinned to it. Same thing. Anything else? Oh crap! I, I saw the mirror and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna see something in the reflection, aren't I? There's a whole lot of trash and old clothes scattered here. Ah, a key. I think I know what that key's for, that generator. Yep. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, the smell in there has made me lightheaded. I feel sick to my stomach.
time I leave the enter the gate, just come back. Okay, so the key has to go in first. Puzzle here, guys. I found in the trail park should help me get out of here. Alright. So I guess that's that's just like a pattern. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me try this. One. not even in there. It sounded like it was on. One, two, three, four. Nothing? Nothing, huh? up here. Nothing else I know about. Some kind of 
found a pattern. That's kind of weird. interesting that was very interesting well that ends chapter 3 episode 3 and I'll be back with episode 4 chapter 4 unearthing the truth and guys make sure you guys follow and I'll see you back in the next episode